Hello again and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a unboxing and review of a new collectible, um, the Mika Batman 1989 series replica grapnel launcher. I got it yesterday, um, but I'm filming it today because I was in the process of finishing up a different video. So, um, I'm really excited to be doing this. Harper is too. He's sitting right here. And he's going to join us today in the unboxing. So, let's get right to it, man. I'm really excited about doing this. Um, yeah, I was dying to open it yesterday. But I was like, no, no, no. Let, let me get this all out too. Hey, Harper. Yeah. See? He's excited too. <laughs> Come on, boy. You can come up here if you want. There, you're going to help me. <laughs> oh, you excited too? Huh? Yeah? Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. Uh, I've been really looking forward to purchasing this thing for a long time. Um... Yeah, the price has fluctuated pretty high up until recently, and I actually got this at a really sweet deal. I got it for $27.99 uh, with $10 shipping, um, so I had to finally jump on it, but here we go. All right, watch out, Harper. You're not made of glass. Okay. He's sitting right here in the corner. Right, Harper? <laughs> Oh, wow. All right, so here it is. Um, the Nika, yeah, Batman 1989 series grapple, uh, launcher replica. Here. Hold on, Harper. I gotta show it to my audience, man, so they can see what I got. This is sweet. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get this bubble wrap out of the way. I have to admit, um, the box itself is actually bigger than the box of the grapple gun came out. Um, one thing I'll say, it's definitely smaller than I thought, but we shall see. Um, it's basically a handheld grapple gun, so I'm hoping it's a decent size. Either way, I'm still pretty excited. I've been wanting to get this thing for a long, for a long time now. Oh, wow. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, grapple gun. Just a quick instruction sheet. Nothing on the back. Uh, let's see. Two LR1 batteries. Huh. Well, we'll see. This might actually have a battery already included. A lot of these things come with uh, battery included. Oh, wow. Check this out. This is the little grapnel hook. That is so cool. And it's shiny, too. It's really shiny. I don't have too many lights on, but I'm pretty sure... I had more on, you'd really see it. Um, right, let's check out the gun itself. Um, now that I'm looking at it, like I said, the, I was I was a little surprised at the size of the box. But considering this thing, oh wait, is this thing? Oh yeah, there's like little plastic thingies. I don't know what they're called, but they're like the little plastic things that hold the tag in in your clothes. It's real small. All right. Now it should come out. 
Come to Papa. Let me see you. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, this is really small. But it, you know what? Now that I have it in my hand, it definitely makes sense. Um, I mean, if it was like on the side of his hip, yeah, this thing would have to be small. You know? See, how do you wind this up, though? Ah. Okay, if you're wondering what that scratching is, Harper's over here playing with the box. So, and, oh, oh, this thing pops open, so you hold it in your hand, like so, and then you shoot it. Actually wondering what see in the movie though it was like a whole handle at least from what I remember I was kind of hoping it'd be like the same but this is pretty neat I mean it looks just like it you know when, when you look at it and you can see that there's rope all in here Yeah, this is pretty neat, man. I like this. But I need some batteries so I can work this out. Or at least put it back in here. Alright. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... Go get me some batteries, and I will be right back. I'm pretty sure I have some LR1s put away. So, we'll be right back. One week later. Okay, I am back. Uh, believe it or not, it took a bit over a week for the batteries to arrive. Um, so that little cutscene you just saw, it was no lie. It was definitely a week. Um, so... I am back, pop these batteries in, and finish this review. Um, let's see, where did I leave off? I didn't even bother to look at the video or remind myself of where I was. Um, but yeah, uh, I had talked about the detail and whatnot, and it does look pretty good. Now let's see it in action. This is the part that I did not get to experience because of the batteries. Uh, so I'll put that off to the side. Um, let me get glasses. Um, the little screw that goes in here is super tiny. That's what I have it here. Batteries and Let's go. Um, yeah, so you know the batteries that this thing needs are LR1s. Uh, come to find out, they're actually LR. They have several names, but the most common is um, N-type batteries, um, which were, to be honest with you, I had never even heard of these. I mean, I've heard of some different size batteries and whatnot. Uh, just recently discovered uh, 4XAA's. I found those out last year when I uh, bought a Surface Pro and I went to get the pen for it and it needed a battery. Never even heard of those. Same thing with this. Um, but yeah, Nika, I guess, decided to go with LR1's, which blows my mind. 
because the little compartment that's right here, they could have easily adapted it for a double A or a triple A. So, yeah. Uh, bad move on Nika. If these guys are listening, you should have redesigned it a little better. This was a pain in the ass to have to wait for. But here we go. Uh, this little X. Okay. So, yeah, I'm excited to try this out. Your noise. And this tiny, tiny, I know you guys can't see it, but this thing is tiny. screwdrivers to handle this one. There it goes. Huh. Okay. I don't think that's a screw for it because um, this little container has a bunch of little screws. I picked the tiniest black one. But I think it's in there pretty secure so I can continue the uh, review. So let's find out what these buttons do. There's one right here. Oh, look, see the little screw just popped out. <laughs> I'll come back to it. The lid's on there, batteries are in. I just wanted to check this final piece out for the review. There's a button right here. Oh, that pulls it in. Nice. And then I'm assuming this shoots it. So um, there's a bed there, wall there. Harper! You jump on the table? Come on. Come on. Good boy. So he's out of the way, and I'm going to shoot it right over there. There's a pillow. Let's see how this works. Oh, wait. I think it's Ringo. Yep. You have to push it all the way in until there's a click. So you can see it goes all the way in there. Let's check this out. Uh, <laughs> I honestly didn't expect it to go very far, but there you go. Went about, what, two feet? Yeah, this thing ain't going anywhere. Um, let's try it again, though. Um, I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to hold the button and see maybe... Oh, yeah, it doesn't go very far. And to be honest with you, see, that's about the like, about two feet. Um, look, Harper, check it out. Uh, out. <laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it like that. Um, I bought it for display purposes. I mean, I don't have any children. And um, as you can see, my cat's not interested in this thing. So, but yeah, there you go. Uh, the Nika Batman... Well, the Nika 1989 Batman series replica grapnel launcher. Um, as I said, I had to wait uh, just over a week for the batteries. Um, I love it. Um, really, really cool toy. Um, I don't know if I should just leave it locked in like that. I'm going to try it again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look, it didn't, even, it didn't even shoot out that far, like a foot and a half this time. Uh, like I said, for display. Um, and it looks really neat. Um, I'm going to be uh, changing up the shelves and stuff like that behind me here in the next week or two. And um, definitely got to figure out what kind of stand I'm going to get. I also got to eat the other one coming from um, the animated series. It's also from Nika, so uh, stay tuned for that. But yeah, this was my review of the Nika 1989 Batman series replica grapnel 
launcher from the 1989 movie. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Leave your comments below on what you'd like to see next. Um, and hit that notification bell so you're notified of when I post new content. Thank you very much and take care. Peace.